hey guys welcome back to the channel daughter of increase my name is Nate Denise for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith God Christ and expanding the kingdom of God so yes I'm in the same outfit as earlier today I did make a previous video of an unboxing of the Delilah box so you guys can check that video out um, that was earlier in the month but this video you won't see until the end of July I wanted to do this video because I saw my sis Stephanie over at Colton Beauty and Books do the bingo TBR Christian edition and I'm not new to TBR games um, and for those who are new to the term TBR TBR is to be read so it's basically for us book lovers we make a list of books we want to read for the month and it's not new to me I'm used to making TBRs I love TBR pals they're like amazing and being on the booktube community I know a lot of different ways to spice up your TBR you have TBR jars which I've done TBR um pursuit bookopoly which is like a monopoly version of bookopoly there are people who are doing shoots and ladders like, like they're turning these games that we love into bookish games to pick their TBR and the book bingo is not new to me but it's one that I've never really cared to try until I saw my sis Steph do it and she did tag me in it and I loved it and even though I already had my books for July picked out I figured I would do my August TBR a little early so it's early when I'm recording this um I mean like it's July 9th so yeah I figured I would get this down so what I did for mine I'm doing mine slightly different from how she did hers I think hers goes from the classic 1 through 75 I have 1 through 100 for mine just because my crazy self went on my computer and started typing up different prompts and when I found out how many prompts there were there were like 97 and I'm like I don't like 97 let's get it to 100 and I found out that there are bingo callers that go 1 through 100 so I did it that way um so I split up all the numbers for each letter so b is going to be anything 1 through 20 i is anything 21 to 40 n is anything 41 to 60 g is anyone anything 61 to 80 and o is anything 81 to 100 so i'm not using a regular bingo caller i went on the computer or rather my phone well i use it on the computer first and i popped it up on my phone i'm using um, this thing called appzaza.com for bingo number and um, it allows you to set your different type of bingo callers so they have the classic 1 through 75 the French one which is 1 through 90 1 through 9 1 through 15 all the way up to 1 through 150 but I picked the one for 1 through 100 so it literally just calls a number and I already know which numbers correlate to which letters so we have that so I put all my prompts I typed them all out to 100 and instead of me using the prompts as I wrote them I ended up putting them into a randomizer online and um, the randomizer put them in number order for me so the way that I type them up is not how they are placed in order. So I have them all in order with which uh, letter it goes with. So B, we have, um, here we go. If I can get to the next page, we have I, N, G, and then O. So I have all of them done. It's DOI bingo board prompt because that's just what I did. I went on the computer and printed out a bunch of these blank bingo boards just because I want to be all fancy I saw how Steph had hers I'm gonna try to get there but see I since I don't like to go out in this weather and in this pandemic I don't I don't like going so I'm using what I have which is computer paper um and I just wrote it out with a sharpie marker so this is going to be my August 2020 bingo TBR and I'm super super excited for that so I have all of the numbers written out of course the star is going to be a free choice so we're just gonna go and I'm gonna go until I hit bingo <laughs> um, and when I hit bingo those prompts will then be removed off of any future boards I have a bunch of stamps I'm not sure if it are if these are dried out or not these are my sons I should probably test them out um, these are like little stamps he got from like school and parties and things like that so let's see this one has like two so I don't know let's see this one works uh oh wait a minute okay so this one is semi dried out let's see about this one okay that one still works that one still works too okay so I have a variety of stamps here a variety of stamps I'm not a stamper myself so um, I'm gonna go with the blue one today 
So like I said, I did try all his stamps to make sure they work. I'm going to go with the blue one with just a star on it. So we're going to use the blue one. I have all of the prompts, but I'm going to keep going until I hit bingo. I know in the booktube community, what they do is they pick however many times they want to go. So they may say, I'll do seven books. Um, so they'll pick seven numbers. And even if it's not on their bingo board, they'll still do the prompts for them. That's not how I'm going to do it because I do want my prompts to last. I mean, I wrote 100 prompts. Yeah. Um, and any book that I pick is going to be a Christian based book. So whether it's Christian fantasy, Christian fiction, Christian contemporary, Christian historical, biblical fiction, suspense is going to be Christian based. Obviously, this is a Christian based channel. So we have that. So I am using this website. Can I turn the light down just a bit so you guys can see it? Does that work? Yeah. So we have it and I'm going to choose the first bingo bowl. The first one is 33. It's 33 on my... Nope, so there is no 33 on this board. There is a 33, but I'm not going to pick it because it's not on the board. So choosing the next one, we have 5, not on my board. 16 <laughs> is not on the board. 65 is not on the board. 44, not on the board. 61 is not on the board. 90 is, it was almost on the board, but I didn't put it on the board. Look at that. 17, 17, nope. 49, 49, 49 is right here in 49. So I'm just going to take the stamp in, in 49. Okay, so that's the first one on the board. Um, and bingo can be across, diagonal, or down. So we have 49, 69. I think we did 69 already, didn't we? I don't need 69, but I don't have any. Do I have 69 on this board? Nope, not on this board. Choose a bingo wall. 88, nope. 42, 42, no. 14, yes, I have 14 on my board. So, there we go. And I'm gonna hopefully, next time i'll try to get this like done a better way but um 48 yes i do have 48 okay all right so we're almost there i need two more to go down or three on across to get bingo 24 no 26 no 21 nope 96 no 86 no <laughs> 47 nope 78 no but I got 77 <laughs> 18 nope 87 no 15 no one nope but it is on my board for September because I already did my September board 64 no 92 nope but i have 91 <laughs> 45 mm, nope 52 no i got 53 37 no i have 38 and 34 51 nope 35 i do have 35 on my board so we have 35 okay this is probably the most ridiculous way i've ever decided to do a tbr video but i thought it was fun and she's having me in it so i figured why not give it a try to spice up my tbr um 23 no 36 no 34 yes we have 34 and i'm just waiting to hit a bingo 34 29 no i have 28 72 nope 46 no 79 nope 25 of course not <laughs> two we have a two we do have two we have two on my board this is probably going to be a very long-winded video i apologize so let's see i need two going across here two going down here three up down this way and then two diagonally okay 
We almost did, y'all. 41. No. 100. Yes, I do have 100 on my board. Okay. 6. No. 22. No. 70. 81. And you guys can see, like, these are all of the numbers I've gone through already. <laughs> yeah so let's see that's 68 no but i have 67 and 62 75 i got 74 93 nope but i have 91 and 94 56 no 27 no 71 no 55 no 91 yes i have 91 okay so bingo either will be this way diagonally or up and down or at the top let's see let's see 66 no and let me just make sure i didn't go past 82 no 67 no 31 no 62 okay seven i have seven seven is here see my bingo board is not sturdy up here so it might fall 53 yes okay we're getting closer to bingo 53 is here getting closer to bingo closer 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 choose a bingo ball eight no 63 no 20 no 95 nope 62 yes okay so literally i need one i need either 60 going down or 31 going across to hit bingo you guys i'm excited I'm excited. Okay, we can do this. So I need 60 or 31 to hit that bingo. 80. Okay, I have another chance at bingo. So we need two going across here, one this way, one here, two diagonally, one going down. Okay. We gonna hit bingo in a second, y'all. 13, no. Three, no. 10, yes, I have 10. Okay, so now I just need one more this way. All right, which one is gonna hit bingo first? I have no idea. 83, no, I have 82. 28, okay, we have 28. I ain't got no bingo yet though, but I'm hitting the numbers on the card. Let me get a sip of my coffee. Why did I pick 100 prompts, you guys? Why? Why did I do this to myself? Okay, so one down, two down, one down, one across, one across, two across, two diagonally, nine, no. 59 no 97 i have 97 I, okay we have 97 so you guys can see like the blue like i said the next go around i will definitely make sure to put this in a different setup um with my backdrop that might work but i really wanted to just make this fun video um 31 yes <gasps> bingo you guys i hit bingo okay so let me show you guys bingo going across so we have prompts 14 31 48 62 and 91 for the month of august so now i'm gonna look through these prompts and figure out which books are which okay guys so now let's get into these books so for b14 it was the first book touch so i did record a clip of me actually sitting on the floor um looking at my second the second row on my 
biblical fiction shelf to pick a book so let's roll that clip now okay guys so i am on my floor because i'm going to be tackling b14 which is uh first book touched and my idea behind that prompt was that i would pick a shelf on my bookshelf and it couldn't really be this shelf the top one because these are all biblical fiction books i've read except for maybe one two there are like two books on this shelf that i haven't read so it wouldn't make sense for me to pick the shelf if i read all of them already except for two so i decided to pick this biblical fiction shelf here and i'm just sticking with the books on um from here to here because i've read these books already these like books here are like my fantasies and my historical books. um so i'm going to close my eyes and randomly pick a book um hopefully this goes out well so i'm gonna let you guys see so these are literally biblical fictions i haven't read outside of delilah and esther um i've read the heart of a king i've read star of persia so the rest of these i haven't read except for like these three over here so all right i am closing my eyes you guys will see i'm closing my eyes i'm gonna take my glasses off so that i can't even see even more so i'm taking my glasses off because i blurry closing my eyes let me turn the camera bring you down some okay so my eyes are closed closed eyes hope you guys can see i'm not sure but um my eyes are closed and even if I, they were open my eyes are blurry so all right <laughs> this is nerve-wracking um, i don't know what book this is I can't read this i read this already so that's not gonna work um try this again okay i can do this one profit um so i will come back to you guys after i get back up there okay so as you can see the book that i picked or touched was going to be the prophet by rj larson and this is a ya christian fiction um historical i'm not sure if this is like biblical because i don't think there are scriptures in here i'm not sure i've never read the series but i know that it's ya christian based and it's a series i really wanted to try the series is called the infinite or the infinite um they call him the infinite god the creator and um it deals with a young woman named ella at the age of 17 being called to be a prophet some people are telling her not to be a prophet um but she just chooses to be a prophet and she is sent to istagard to um basically what is it i'm gonna tell you guys right now she is sent to istagar to basically tell them about the word of god sorry um to tell them about the word of god so it sounds interesting i know there is also judge and king which are books two and three so hopefully i enjoyed this enough to get it this was published from bethany house back in 2012 this is a book like i said i wanted to read for a minute so i'm super excited to dive into this i'm glad i picked it even though this was my second pick because the first book i touched was a book that i had already read so yeah we have that for i31 it is to read a book you have low expectations for and for this i'm not gonna lie it's the king's mercy by Lori benton i received this back in 2019 for review and i honestly did not read this book because i had low expectations for it which is kind of crazy because i picked it but i picked it because the cover is pretty problems but i'm a lot better now you guys know i'm better with my book reviews i'm better with that but um yeah if i was some scottish guy named a uh, scott a scotsman named alex mckinnon who was a rebel he received mercy from the king and was then exiled to north carolina to a colony where he then becomes an indentured uh blacksmith to some guy named edmund carey it also deals with carey's daughter his stepdaughter joanna and i guess things happen between joanna and alex who i don't know there's a reverend named pa it just it sounds good um it sounds good but i have low expectations i'll read the last part it says that despite his growing bond with joanna alex longs to break the chains of servitude and forge his freedom until he's faced with the choice that hounds him continue down his destructive rebellious path path excuse me or embrace the faith of a man like paulin paulin is a reverend who travels to the plantation to bring the gospel um so to embrace the faith of a man like paulin whose freedom in christ no earthly power can steal but the price of such mercy is total surrender and perhaps alex's very life so that portion sounded really good to me but in all honesty i have low expectations for this it's a 400 page historical fiction yeah so we got that <laughs> okay so n48 was christian's choice and my son's name is christian for those who don't know he is six years old so i have a stack of three books now i did try to call him just now but he's taking a nap at his dad's house so 
I'm going to insert a clip after I show you guys the books to, to, so you can see which book he picked. But um, the first one I'm actually really excited to read. I really hope he picks this one because I really like it. But um, this is by Ronnie Kendig. It is Storm Rising. It's the first book in the Book of the Wars. This is going to be Christian suspense and it deals with the Old Testament. It deals with takes place in Bulgaria and it also has the Navy Seal in it as well. So yeah it says does an ancient book of prophecy hold the answers to saving the world or predict its destruction mentioned in the pages of the old testament but lost to history the book of the wars has surfaced or resurfaced its pages hold secrets and dangers never seen before there is navy seal leaf meatcalf and then vicara which i'm assuming vicara is a chick they basically must form an uneasy alliance to threat impending disaster. It sounds good. It sounds amazing. The cover is gorgeous. So I hope he picks this. But this is the first book he can pick from. Okay, so the second book he can pick is going to be Carrie Stewart Park's Fragment of Fear. This was a book that my sister Stephanie over at Quilting Beauty and Books sent me. And this one says, Stolen Art, a New Mexico Archaeological Dig, an Abandoned Dog, and a Secret That's Worth Killing For. So you have Evelyn McTivish. McTivish? I think that's how you say that name. Um, her world comes crashing down with the suicide of her fiance. She struggles to put her life back together, make a living from her art. She receives a call that her dog is about to be destroyed at the pound, except she doesn't own a dog. Uh, the shelter is adamant that the microchip embedded in the canine with her name and address makes it hers. So then she recognizes the dog as the uh, dog that belongs to an archaeologist named John Coyote. Um, but then she realizes and finds that John's body is found and he was murdered. So then she becomes a target and she crosses path with an FBI agent um, named Sawyer Price. So it sounds interesting. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I actually have another book from this author. I don't even think that, did that book come in the mail yet? No, I don't think that book arrived in the mail yet, but I am going to be reviewing another book from this author. The book is called Relative Silence. I did receive that book. Yes, so I have Relative Silence. Let me grab it real quick for you guys. So I have Relative Silence, which I actually have to read and review for this month, the end of the month. So, um, is this a review? No, this is an Instagram tour that I have to do. So before I dive into this, I do want to read this one. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure if this is like a series or not but they have the same covers and I love the colors. So I figured let this be a pick. So that's the second option, right? And the third option I have for my son is gonna be The Valley of Dry Bones by Jerry B. Jenkins. I'm picking this honestly because it's J.R.B. Jenkins and I love the Left Behind series. I'm loving it. I'm up to book six. I haven't started it yet, but I'm up to book six. And um, it's a 13 book series, guys. <laughs> but um, this deals, it says a 17 year old, a 17 year drought, earthquakes and wildfires leave California uninhabitable and irreparable forcing its cities to relocate citizens to relocate uh fewer than one percent of its population remain by choice or necessity a uh, contingency of 16 feels called of god to stay at their own risk to minister to the stragglers calling themselves the holdout they face a clash of cultures ethnicities religions and politics that pit friend against friend with the future of the country at stake in the midst of the chaos, while facing their most menacing opponent, the leader of the holdouts becomes convinced he's heard directly from God himself. The result is a finish you'll never forget. So, I don't know if this is, it feels like a dystopian. Dystopian is a sci-fi subgenre. So, it feels like a dystopian, supernatural. Don't really know, honestly. I should probably look it up on Goodreads now and tell you what the genre is. But I don't even think they have the genre on Goodreads the valley of dry bones now i like the title itself because it reminds me of Ezekiel with the dry bones um clearly <laughs> but i'm not sure if that's where he gets it from but it just it says contemporary fiction Christ, christian contemporary fiction but i feel like it's giving me dystopian vibes just with the earthquakes the wildfires and um the drought so i feel like it's a dystopian personally um so this is the third option so these are the three books he can pick from we'll see let's roll that clip hey guys so it is now 10 o'clock about 10 o'clock ish um and ew. <laughs> my son is back home so i have my books laid on my bed so again i have storm rising by ronnie kendig fragments of fear by carrie stewart parks and the valley 
of Dry Bones by Jerry B. Jenkins. So, what he is going to do now is pick a book for me. Are you ready? Dang, already? <laughs> pick it up. <laughs> pick it up. <laughs> so, he picked the book that I wanted to read. Thank you very much. This is why my son is my twin. Don't care. Show them the book. It's a storm. Storm. Rising. Rising. So, that's the book he picked. So, yes, that is the book that I will be reading. That's a part of my TBR. So, okay. So then for G62, it's to read a review book that you have not read yet, which is terrible. Okay, so I have two here because I'm not really sure which way I want to go. So one that I have not read yet, um, which was sent for review from B&H Books, is going to be The Edge of Everyone. This is actually a review book that I received from them. I have not read it yet. I actually need to see if they have any more books up. But uh, yeah, this is a middle grade fantasy, I guess, a middle grade fantasy. And it teaches you about um tragedy sorrow i'm just gonna read it okay so it says hello reader i am honored to know you tragedy is sometimes followed by mystery at least that's what faces 13 year old piper and her brother phoenix who has autism mourning the loss of their parents they must move a thousand miles away to live with their insufferable aunt beryl but it is in their aunt's cavernous library that piper and phoenix hear a mysterious book calling to them its name is nobis fabula and its story will change their lives forever join piper and phoenix in the verabotten library as they begin an intriguing journey of grief wonder and the search for truth if you stand with them at the edge of everyone you just might discover the story you need to hear as well so um it sounds really interesting i'm always looking to read more christian um middle grade novels so we have this as an option because I have not read it. Um, and then we have this one which I've read but I haven't read because you, got, you guys know how to do review books. I read them quickly and I really don't pay attention too much. So yeah. So we have Stay With Me by Becky Wade. I really, really want to dive back into this like and really, 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 really read it. Um, like honestly read it and annotate it because this cover is stunning and I just love everything about it. So in short, it is a contemporary romance. Um, this one is going to be Christian middle grade fantasy. Like I said, this one is contemporary romance. Who It follows the story of a Bible study author named Genevieve Woodward and a guy who is a historic farmer named Sam Turner and their type of relationship i'm not sure if this was second chance romance or not but it sounds good the cover is cute it is a thick boy um she thick she is about almost 400 pages long so we'll see so one of these two books honestly i'm leaning more so towards this book but we'll see when i do my actual full um tbr for the month of Jul for the month of august you'll know which book i picked so one of these two books okay guys so i went and got the other two books that i said i was gonna pick between the uh two review books that i haven't read yet so pick which one you picked pick it up because that's my son that that's my son he knows his mother's heart so stay with me is gonna be my pick for the review books that i have not read yet and then we have storm rising for the christian's choice book so there we have it um and then the last one is O ninety one 91 duck with edges now you guys i had a I had a trying time looking for a book with decal edges i thought i had a book with decal edges but i do but they're not like christian related they're all secular books so that wasn't gonna work so then i googled decal edges and what came out was apparently they had the c.s lewis uh signature collection in a decal edge form but i don't have the decal edge form so i had grabbed this book but then i said you know what let me look and i finally found a book with decal edges but it's a non-fiction and it's a devotional and it's for kids so unseen um it's a 365 day devotional by priscilla wishire it's the prince warrior series um deckled edges as you can see deckled edges deckled edges deckled edges look just like that like they're like edges that don't even look right i don't even know how to describe deckled edges but it's a devotional so i'm just gonna have to do a month of this devotional yeah literally i'm gonna do a month worth of this devotional what i love is that this is not dated it's just numbered which we're here for so i know priscilla has that series um the prince warriors i do own the second book and i own the prequel novella um i do own the first and third book though on ebook form but i physically own those two books but um 
Yeah, it says you are God's warrior and his armor is waiting for you. Are you ready to win life's battles? These 365 devotions for young warriors are strategy sessions to help you recognize the enemy, fortify your defenses, and claim the victory God has planned for you. So I will be reading a month of this, I guess. <laughs> we'll see. Um, if I'm not into this, then I will end up reading one of the signature classics out of this. Um, even though I don't own the Deckled Edge form, this is available in Deckled Edges. If you Google it on Amazon, they have it. So, I'm going to just go for that. Um, so, we'll see. We shall see. We shall see. I still need to actually finish annotating up in this baby. Like, I was I was going in, y'all. I was writing notes upon notes. Like, the screw tape letters is literally my favorite. I want to get a single copy of that book. But, we have that. So, that is it for this DOI TBR bingo board attempt sorry if you guys hear my brother i apologize but um yeah that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to see all the books that i'll be reading for the month of august then watch the next video to come bye